Hi, welcome to Midlife Money Moves. I'm Michael. I'm a 54-year-old teacher, musician, artist, a bunch of other stuff who has a mountain of debt and very little saved for retirement. This is where I'm going to document um, turning it around before um, <laughs> before it's too late. So here's a uh, welcome if you're new and uh, welcome back if you're here. That's the, I think I just broke 170 subscribers, which is exciting to me. Thanks to all the people who have shouted out and whatever. It's been a while. I'm feeling a little bit like, okay, where am I going to? Has, has it been that long? There was a holiday in between. We had Labor Day here. So um, let's see. So I need to kind of close out August, <laughs> talk about September. And um, I started another piece that Let's see, what time is it? I don't want to make these too long, and I keep going on and on with these things. <clears throat> All right, so um, I still had a lot of red over here. Um, but the end of the week was weird. I think I, or the end of the month, I mean, I think I did something really weird. <laughs> I'm counting week five as just these few days. And then week one, I'm going to roll over here of September, just the first and the second. Because then I also budget in YNAB, which I'll probably show you later. It still feels like a mess. Um, everything feels... I need to stop saying that. Um, I'm on the credit card float, which if you're a YNABber... Is this only a YNAB term? It means I'm paying for um, this month's expenses on a credit card um, and then paying the credit card off the next month. So I'm, be I'm behind. In a lot of ways, the way I used to think, this would have been ahead because I'm not paying anything late. But I don't want to. I don't want to be waiting for money to pay the credit card debt of last month. I want to be paying for next month. That's one of my many financial goals, <laughs> and I'm learning. I have to go back to the plan. I get real as is happening right now. I get there's a, there are a lot of things <laughs> that are awry, and um, and I can only fix one at a time. I keep reminding myself this. So um, ultimately, some things are pretty good. Like the last week again, this was a short week. Um, $89 on, um, uh, what is this, groceries. I'm $214 over budget, and that budget was $400 for groceries. I still think I can do it. Um, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep aiming for $400. Did I drop it? Oh, I even dropped it down lower. Maybe that's not a good idea. Anyway, well, we're talking about last month, the end of August. You know, um, I didn't... I didn't um, uh, budget anything for household, but I needed batteries for my scale. Um, that's another place that I'm trying to sort of find uh, some routine is taking care of my health. Um, this medical was really good. I went $126 under budget. This budget was set way too high. I changed it for this month, but that's nice to see that green there regardless. Um, personal care, over. All this stuff, over. Um, my cat, this was understandable. I had to stock up on a lot of food. You guys know that already. I've been checking on these weekly. This trip, it, it was not an expensive trip, really. Ultimately, it was like $400 to take a weekend trip for the summer, um, <clears throat> which is inexpensive, but I just don't have the budget for that. And, and I, need to under, I need to figure out what that's going to look like. Um, you know, over, 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 over. You get the idea. I feel very frustrated with myself with this stuff because some of these things I decided and I said out loud, I, I don't want to spend this money. And then I just do it. <laughs> so it's okay. It's all a process. Part of what... <clears throat> it's all a process and I understand it's a process, but I also have this sense of urgency because I'm 54 years old <laughs> and I don't have anything saved for retirement and I have all this debt. Um it's possible to get out from under it, but I am in a lot of ways, well, in every way, honestly, because this situation is of my own creation. Um, but I continue to be my worst enemy when I spend money on stuff that I wasn't in the plan. Like, it just doesn't work. That money doesn't exist um, if, if I want to meet my goals. Um, but uh, I just continue to move forward. So this was a lovely, lovely month, two months of $180 rent. Let's roll <laughs> into September because someone asked about this. They said, wow, $180 rent? That's only because of this. During the school year, I, I'm a teacher and most of my income comes from ind independent piano teaching. So my income drops during the summer, especially here in New York City. The majority of people and like sort of the demographic that I serve, 
is likely to vacation or go to like their summer house during um during uh the summer so i my income drops exponentially um yeah so my total income including a bunch of extra stuff um and i'm, I'm going to talk about this as well um was two hundred two thousand three hundred twenty two dollars typically it's more like this um actually it's going to be like in the six thousands which feels so exciting because it is i'm doing a good job of like loading up my schedule with piano to students and um staying consistent with them and expecting them to be consistent so this has been a huge leap for me in having a more consistent income <clears throat> but so back to rent um so my rent is eighteen hundred dollars and i pay extra rent to my landlord who's awesome she lives downstairs um because i started doing this a couple years ago because i have always had a hard time with budgeting money but this was something i could do and the money would be gone and then i wouldn't have to pay as much rent in the summer when my income drops so much so um this is now my rent is arguably two thousand one hundred and forty dollars but that's including an advance payment towards next summer so next summer i've worked this out so that i'll owe two hundred dollars rent each month in july and august <clears throat> um so what did i change on this i know huh, this is a change i'm making next month my friend andy hi andy who i've known forever um just on the internet made a good point and i went back and forth about this i had already scheduled this barber visit 82 dollars and 70 cents i love going to the barber um it's coming off the budget i'm not that's not in the budget for next month um here's what has shifted for me a little bit about this stuff i um i didn't want to stop going to the barber but if i stop going to the barber next month i can decide in the following month oh i'm going to go to the barber this month i don't have to like deciding not to go to the barber next month does not mean i can't go the following month so I'm taking it one day at a time, just like I've alluded to this before. I quit drinking in uh, 1994. Thank you. And, um, and AA was a big part of that. So it's one of those things I'm applying to this. This Just for today, I'm not going to the barber. Just for October, I'm not going to the barber. I have clippers. Um, I'll just try to handle it. <clears throat> um, because that $82.70 um, could be better spent elsewhere. Uh, groceries again this week <laughs> one was only two days um, but I spent $22.13 I already entered this week's groceries of $45.10 um, I'm gonna try to maybe spend I need to buy just a few other things I'm gonna try to keep it to like 65 this week that'd be cool that'd be really good I just am a lot of things I'm like you know what it's that thing. It's like, I don't want to stop buying seltzers and drinking them and leaving half of them around the house half empty. <laughs> um, but I could n not do that this week. Let's see what it's like this week. I'll just drink water. Um, I separated out my household expenses because these were getting folded into groceries. Um, and I think this will help. I got extra stuff. <laughs> this household stuff. This was an ex These are these things. My the lighting in my kitchen is terrible, so I bought some stuff to kind of add like I don't even know I don't even know how to describe it to make the lighting better in there, so I'll be more likely to cook at home and not at the end of the day after I've been teaching all day be like oh forget it I'm ordering takeout. So this thirty one fifty nine wasn't exactly budgeted. I kind of budgeted around having spent this already, but if this works, I'll be have one less excuse. <laughs> at the end of the day to order food i don't know if that makes sense to you i'm having I'm kind of just trying to practice looking at my own behavior and what i know about myself and like in those weak moments when i'm exhausted and i don't want to like cook even the most simple thing um well how can i how can i intercept that version of myself <laughs> um i had a couple of medical things uh this is just medication this is a copay for uh therapy uh this 3588 i spent some more money 
this uh, this is already making me nervous. But we we're working together. Oh, I want to mention this culture pass. If you live in New York City and you have a library card, I went to the MoMA. Uh, my boyfriend and I went to the MoMA yesterday for free. You just go to this website. At, I'll put a link in the comments or in the uh, you know the description. Um, yeah, you could just sign up and get free tickets to cultural stuff. Um, that was great. But then we went and ate food. We went and ate dinner, which was you know not terrible. But that's the thing that's tricky. That's going to be a hard thing to figure out. If we meet in the city to do something free, we're always going to want to eat. Neither one of us is going to want to bring food. So that's just a new thing to pay attention to. But that was a fun thing to do for free. We went to the MoMA, Museum of Modern Art. Hello. Um, eating out. Boyfriend was out of town. I was sad. I also had a $10, no, $25 credit from uh, my uh, Amex cards, which I feel guilty about and may not be renewed. Uh, but I get free... Uber Eats credits every month. So I ordered takeout and my it was $11.50 what was, was left. Um, $50. Oh, this is uh, Transfer Tuesday portion <laughs> of this. I have this uh, $50 is transferring automatically today to my emergency fund. So that's transferring some money to a good place. And this $20 I pulled out when I pulled out cash um, from my landlord. Um, and this is going in my safe for my emergency fund at home. So that now has $40 in it. I had to spend $166.99 on a three-month supply of contacts. <sighs> These are daily, and they're expensive for three months. I wear one pair. Um, my eye doctor does recycle these, so if you're wondering, um, he is a drop-off point for Bausch & Loam, and <laughs> they literally come and get used contacts. So I have a container, maybe I'll show you one day, of uh, contacts that, uh, it's going to recycling and the little blister packs. That said, this is expensive. Partly I have this, these exact contacts because I'm incredibly nearsighted. I already feel like I'm telling you too much, but now that I'm getting older, I need reading glasses. So I was juggling, these are multifocal disposable lenses and they help me see up close and far away, but I feel like I'm already telling you too much. I don't think they're working out exactly right. And I may switch to just regular lenses for farsighted and just wear reading glasses which isn't great either but all right so anyway that's what's happened this week i'm really gonna do a week two closeout um so i may rehash some of this but it was here so i was talking about it i want to mention something um, my sister is watching these videos hi Catherine, and um she asked in the comments did you forget about your patreon income um i'm also a artists have albums out and that kind of thing michaelheron.com um i also want to talk about this mug which i'm about to drink out of this was from my mom when she passed away this came from her uh apartment it's one of those things i like that i have okay <clears throat> oh coffee made at home side note <laughs> um all right what was I just telling you? Oh, so I started putting this budget together. This still needs a lot of work, but I thought I would show you. Um, this is what September looks like. And there's a lot going on here that needs to be fixed. And hopefully Layla, debt over it. You should be following her on uh, YouTube. She just paid off a ton of student loan debt. She's completely debt free. Come on. All right. So, um, this is kind of what it looks like. There's, I need to work this out differently. This, this is a, these are the various places I get income. This is um, what I get from my students. See how it's increased so much for the fall? And I'm, I teach a lot. Like this, I feel guilty that this is how much money I bring in. This is gross. Gross? This is gross. This is gross pay. Um, and I already subtracted out the uh, processing fees, which are a lot. All my students pay me with credit cards through Stripe. And um, and there's a fee for that. Um, I sort of increased my rates so that I could cover that, but that's a lot. It amounts to a lot of money. <laughs> and then I took a loan through Stripe. <sighs> One of these hasty things that I used to do, um, and I'm still paying it back. And they automatically take 7% out of whatever is processed through Stripe to pay back the loan, which should be paid back in the next month or so, maybe two months. 
Um, but I'll be happy that that's not coming out anymore. And the thing that I did when I, I don't even want to get into it. I took that loan because like, oh, I'll put this money in my accounts. So then I'll have an actual buffer and I'll be worth it. That money didn't stay there as a buffer. Um, I, uh, yeah. So the original amount that is coming through Stripe this month is this $7,765.50. Um, I also got this month, September, $317.68 from Patreon. These people are loyal. I'm really happy that they're here because I have not been creating like I used to. Um, so I'm really happy these people are still here. I, I have been doing more and more on Patreon. Um, royalties, every quarter I get like 50 bucks from various streaming things and I have no idea why because if I look, no one's listening to my music <laughs> like anywhere. Somewhere in some place in the world, people are listening or I'm on someone's playlist um, and I get like 50 bucks. I would like to make that bigger. That's like really cool. What do they call that income that isn't the active? What's it called? Pa oh, <laughs> passive income. <laughs> uh, merch, if I'm selling my books or my zines or the different things that I have. I haven't been really doing much work with the, in this area, which was nice to put this down. Um, and then I, I need to figure out how this is exactly going to come out of here. And then I use the profit first method loosely as I get caught up on my current taxes, um, which I'll go into later. But I want these percentages, like 1% profit to automatically come out and automatic tax money coming out. But it comes out down here. I just did this today. I think, um, is this too much? How long? I, did, I looked at my watch to see what time it was when I started. And I forgot what time it was. Um, anyway, I'll do a whole thing about business um, business expenses and, and my business budget. But it was good to write this down because if I want to meet my goal of paying $3,136 this month so I don't owe money at the end of the year, I have to make an extra $2,700. So it could, it's very likely that this isn't going to happen, which is not good. Um, I've been perpetually behind on taxes. I think this is its own video too because I've been just ignoring the problem for probably a, at least a decade, well over a decade. Um, so I'm on a payment plan with the IRS, but I desperately do not want to owe money at the end of the year and have it rolled back into the pay payment plan. I, this is a whole other video. <laughs> the 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 um. In interest and penalty on unpaid tax is a lot. And even though I'm paying $825, I'm going to try to figure this out more closely. I never paid attention to this. I've been on a payment plan forever. I just didn't pay attention. Um, it's going very slow to pay this off. So um, I, I have to not add more to that debt by owing at the end of this year. Anyway, <sighs> What's a good happy takeaway from all this? What's good? What's good happening? Well, school started. I have a solid, such a solid income. I work a lot and I'm often tired at the end of the day. Um, but how great. And I don't have any student turnover. So that's all really good. And um, I have this crew of awesome people who watch these videos. Um, and then there are people that I've been watching who are paying off their debt. I'm really getting into like watching other debt people um, paying off their debt or making progress, um, which I am too. What did I pay off? That's all. Let's talk about that. Um, all of these debts um, last month in August, in spite of this low income, I still paid these minimum payments. Uh, Lending Club, I told you already. It's a, um, so basically a consolidation of several credit cards I owed money on. Um, it's right around $9,000 now. Um, oh, I should show you that uh, when I'm prepared to, I'll show you the, um, the debt trackers and all that kind of stuff that's down here. Um, what else did I do? That was really it. I put my $20 in, um, wait, did I put 20, $50 in my, I did. Oh, I put $50 in my emergency fund, um, last month and set $20 in my cash emergency fund. So that's good. I way overspent. <laughs> by uh, $692.26, which like it's still in this weird world over here um, where I want to get off that credit card float. I don't want to be paying last month's expenses, but I don't know how that's going to happen because there are a lot of different things. 
Um, my main goal is not overspending. This is good to say out loud. Not overspending and paying as close to this number as I possibly can this month. Um, it's going to be... <laughs> going to be a big I, I mean this just isn't going to happen <laughs> I don't I don't know how it is um, um, but that's okay like if it, it's everything is okay I'm moving in the right direction tremendously however it's okay to stop playing with my spreadsheets <laughs> anyway that's today's video um, click like subscribe make comments below I love hearing from people and um I love watching other people's videos who are watching my videos. This is really cool. I had a really, this feels like another video. I should make more than one video a week. Um, this YouTuber that I watch, it's a whole other video. It's a whole other video. Um, it's just this reminder that like, this is a world like finances feels like, and I had the belief for a long time that because I'm like this gay, artist with like a ADHD and like various other issues that make me feel like an outcast or an outsider I also thought this club this like having a grown-up income and handling my money that way was something that I was not accessible to me I don't know if that makes any sense um but this youtuber that I watch I don't even want to mention his name or the name of the gross guest he had but it's, I was already getting a little turned off by this person um, because as he got more viewers, he also became more clickbaity and less reliable and less honest in a way because you could tell everything was about trying to generate clicks and views. He had an incredibly homophobic guest on his show who was like outwardly says gay people have uh, a mental, a mental illness I don't want to go into all of it. But it just made me realize, like, oh, it's not just that I made up that this wasn't for me, like that having money wasn't for me. It's kind of what is portrayed as the norm, right? Like, I don't know how to explain that in a different way, but I really want to investigate it further. But all these comments, like, I realized, like, oh, I'm not this guy's audience. His audience is like rich, white, straight guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it was just an interesting awareness. Uh, so that's my story. This is, I don't even know how long this is. I don't, and I don't know why I'm looking at the clock. I have no idea when I started. I hope this wasn't too long. I hope you stuck with me. And uh, please comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.